Welcome in to the Post Oak Little League playoffs. Kyle Harris here with you on the call. Today's game is going to be between the Junior Braves and the Junior Cubs. It's going to be the Cubs that are starting out. and It's going to be Wyatt Basket leading off for the Cubs. Swings at the first pitch over the left side, the shortstop. Gets it, fields it, throws it over, and he's out. Wyatt Baskin grounded out for the first play of the game, and we are off. On the mound for the Braves is Webb Lewis, the left-hander. Saw this Braves team against the White Sox on Monday. They ended up losing that one 9-6 to six and are now faced with the Cubs here in the loser's bracket. Now up to bat, Parker Chiles. He swings at the first pitch, fouled over the right side. Over there by first baseman, Oliver Zinn. Top of the first inning, one out. Nobody on the bases for the Cubs. I'll give you the defense behind Webb Lewis in just a little bit here. This one's shot over down the first base line. Zinn picks it up. Runs over the first base bag, steps on it, and gets the second out of the inning for the Braves. Quick one-two outs for Webb Lewis and the Braves now up for the Cubs. It's Miles Camarda, the lefty, takes the first pitch low for ball one. And that one's past the catcher, Cooper Hutchinson, for ball two, 2-0. Two -oh. Now the count. And the pitch from Lewis is low for ball three, 3-0. Three -oh. Now the count to the three-hole hitter, Miles Camarda. Has a chance to get on the bases here for the Cubs. And that one's in there for Lewis for strike one, three, one. Now the count goes. Lewis working fast here out of the stretch. This one's hit to the right side. Lee Pierce trying to stay in front of it, knocks it down, but not gonna get in, not gonna be in time to get Camarda as there was no throw. Is just couldn't field that clearly there for Pierce, and it is going to be an infield single for the Cubs. Now coming, up for, now coming up for the Cubs, the cleanup hitter, Matthew Guyton. As Webb Lewis looks into Hutchinson for the call. Camarda on first base and is going to be a pickoff attempt from Lewis. Camarda slides back into first base safely. Webb Lewis, another pickoff attempt, this time a little bit different. Stepped off the rubber with his left foot, and Camarda still sliding back into first base safely. Zinn had to kind of come off the bag there to get that, but no, no harm done. As we still have an 0-0 count, Camarda with a big lead over there at first, and he's going to take off. Hutchinson is going to throw, but it's not going to be close in time as the Cubs have their first steal of the game from Miles Camarda. The pitch from Webb Lewis was a ball. Behind Webb Lewis, behind the plate, it's going to be Cooper Hutchinson. Over at first base, Oliver Zinn. Second baseman, Lee Pierce. Shortstop, Bennett Adams. Over at third base, it's going to be Alex Granger. Then the outfield and left is Sam Bray. Over in center is Henry Groves. And over in right, to round it out, is Keen Robertson. We so have a quick little mound visit between the infielders and the coaches. And quick mound meeting there. And they're back to it. 1-0 the count, two outs. 
Guyton, the hitter, he takes that next pitch in the dirt for ball two. The count goes to 2-0. and The 2-0 count and the pitch low in the dirt outside. Ball three now. 3-0 count. We saw Webb Lewis with this earlier and ended up getting out of it after throwing a couple strikes. See what happens here with the cleanup hitter Guyton and a runner at second. Two outs. The leg lift and the pitch is way outside for ball four. It's going to be the first walk issued for Webb Lewis and the Braves. Now coming up to the plate, Henry Van O's, the five-hole hitter for the Cubs. Webb Lewis looking at the runners on the bases and Camarda and Guyton. And he goes to the plate, this one, high and outside to Van O's for ball one. The 1-0 -oh pitch. Outside, ball two. Webb Lewis has thrown six straight balls here for the Braves, struggling to find his command with runners on first and second and two outs. Just outside, says the home plate umpire, and the count goes to 3-0. and Lewis in danger of walking his second batter in a row. The 3-0 pitch. That's in there for strike one. So Lewis trying to work his way back into this count. Henry Van O's, the right-handed hitter in the box, and he backs out of that one, but it is going to be a called strike. Lewis working the count back to full 3-2 now the count. Two outs. The runners are off. Swing and a miss by Van O's, and the Braves are going to get out of that one without any run scored by the Cubs. We go to the bottom of the first, still scoreless between the Braves and the Cubs. You're listening to Post Oak Little League Playoffs here on Vipe Live.
Welcome back. And the first hit is drilled into left center field. It's going to be Alex Granger for the Braves. He's going around second, going all the way to third. And Granger's going to slide in. It's going to be a pass ball. Granger's going to get all the way home on that missed throw from the Cubs. And it's going to be one nothing Braves off a leadoff hit. First pitch by Alex Granger. What a way to start the bottom of the first inning out here at Post Oak Little League. It's going to be an inside the park home run for Granger to get things started for the Braves. Now stepping up to the plate, the shortstop, Bennett Adams, his first chance at it. He takes the first pitch outside for a ball. On the mound for the Cubs is the right-hander, Henry Van O's. That one fouled back by Adams for strike one. The count goes to one and one. Van knows that pitch high to Adams. Count goes to two and one. That one in the dirt. Hitters count now for Adams, the two hole hitter for the Braves, three and one, now the count. That pitch high and inside to Adams and he goes to first base with a walk. So first walk issued by the Cubs this game. And it's gonna be a quick little meeting between Van O's and Guyton. Matthew Guyton behind the plate for the Cubs. Over at first base, Eli Ferber. Second baseman, Parker Chiles. Shortstop, Wyatt Baskin. Over at third base, Haynes Camarda. And in the outfield, in left, Charlie Bookmeyer. In center field, Miles Camarda. And in right field, J.P. Whitley. And the 3-0 hitter standing in is Henry Groves. He takes the first pitch high and inside for ball one. Runner at first is Bennett Adams. See if he runs. And that pitch outside for ball two as Van O's struggling with his command here in the bottom of the first inning. 2-0 well the count to Groves and Adams is off. He's going to get be there without a throw. Standing up, Van O's didn't even look at him and threw his third ball straight. 3-0 goes the count now. Van O's working quickly here for the Cubs and Going to look back at the second at second base. Over at Adams, no throw though. Now the leg lift and the pitch. That one in there. Four strike one, three one, now the count. That's in there, strike two. It's Henry Groves taking the last two pitches after starting against Groves 3-0. Oh. Now Henry Van O's. He's come back to make the full count. The full count pitch swung on, popped up into the infield. It's the shortstop over there to get it. And diving is Wyatt Baskin. He's going to get the basket catch for the first out of the inning. Now coming up for the Braves. It's the pitcher, Webb Lewis. Left-hander stands in with the runner on second and Adams. The first pitch is in there for strike one. So after those three straight balls, Van O's has come out has come back with three straight strikes. The 0-1 pitch is high for ball one. 1-1 one, one goes the count. Pitch a little bit outside. Count goes to two and one. Braves trying to get a win here after losing on Monday to the White Sox, nine to six. Bennett Adams is off. It's a ball outside, and he slides in safely. The throw from Guyton, not in time. So the Braves now with a runner on third base. Less than two outs. You'd want to get him in there as that ball's in the dirt. And Webb Lewis is going to throw the bat over the dugout. 
and trot all over there. It's the second walk of the inning issued for Henry Van O's and the Cubs. So now runners on the corners with one out. Stepping up to the plate now is the left fielder, Sam Bray. He is the five-hole hitter for the Braves. And see if Lewis wants to take off here. He does, swing and a miss by Bray, but Lewis gonna get into second base safely on the defensive indifference. So now two runners in scoring position, second and third, one out. The pitch is this one's popped up over in the infield. It's gonna be the catcher slide and Van O's to get that for the second out of the inning. And Sam Bray takes his helmet off in frustration. They're running back to the dugout. Now it's up to first baseman Oliver Zinn. The right-hander steps in with runners on second and third and two outs. Swings at the first pitch, is over its third baseman who got it, throw over to first base and Ferber. It's, it's Kane's Camarda, excuse me, over at third and he's gonna retire, the, and that's gonna retire the side. Braves able to get, or, yep, Braves able to get one on the board there, but left two runners stranded in scoring position. We go to the second, Braves leading. One to zero. Top of the second inning, the Braves leading, they're the junior Braves leading over the junior Cubs one to nothing here in this semifinal playoff game between the Post Oak Little League junior teams here. On for his second inning of work. It's gonna be the left-hander Webb Lewis. And a swing and a miss of the first pitch by Eli Ferber. And that's strike one. Ferber, the right-handed first baseman for the Cubs. Trying to answer the run that the Braves got in the bottom of the first. The off-speed pitch didn't break for Lewis there. And it's outside for ball one. 1-1 one, one goes the count. Cubs finish last inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. Two left on, one strikeout and a walk. And that pitch is low for ball two. Two one goes the count. Swing and a miss by Ferber, and the count goes to two and two. Webb Lewis working from the stretch, nobody on. The leg lift and the pitch is in there for strike three. Ferber thought it was a little bit high, but being one of the taller players out here 
for the junior Post Oak Little League. He goes down looking for strike three. Second strike out of the game for Webb Lewis and the first out of the inning for the Braves. Now stepping up in the box is the right fielder, number two, J.P. Whitley. So the lefty steps in for his first plate appearance against Lewis. And that one's in there for strike one. Leg lift in the pitch. This one's hit up the middle. Second baseman Pierce grounds it. Those are the first baseman's in. And he gets the runner, Whitley, before he can get to the bag for out number two. Four three ground out for the right fielder, Whitley. And now comes up Ford Bennett. Bennett being a designated hitter here for the Cubs. Looks in and takes the first pitch outside for ball one. After having a couple runners on last inning for Lewis, I'm sure he'd be happy to get out of this one with a one, two, three. And that pitch runs outside for ball two. Count goes to two and zero. Oh. Two zero. The count to Bennett. The leg lift and the pitch from Lewis. Swing and a miss from Bennett, and that's strike one. Lewis with one walk on the day. Came to a cleanup hitter, Guyton, back in the first. That one runs low and inside to Bennett for ball three. The hitters count now three and one with two outs. And that one runs outside for Lewis, ball four. Ford Bennett going to on, trot on down over to first base. First walk of the inning for Lewis, second walk of the game. That now brings up the nine-hole hitter, Alexander Ramirez. The right-hander steps in. And that one runs outside for ball one. 1-0 one -oh the count. See if the Cubs can get a two-out rally here as that one's in the dirt for ball two. We were struggling to find the zone after two quick outs. Leg lift in the pitch. That's in there for strike one. Lewis trying to come back. Count goes to two and one. Runner on first is Bennett. Only one hit for the Cubs so far in this game. Last inning it was Miles Camarda, and that one's in there to Ramirez for strike two. Two's across the board here in the top of the second inning. Braves leading the Cubs one to nothing. 9-0 hitter Ramirez, and the pitch from Lewis is in there for strike three. Ramirez goes down looking for the third out of the inning. No hits, one walk, one left on, and we go to the bottom of the second. Braves leading the Cubs 1-0.
Bottom of the second inning, out here at Post Oak Little League between the Junior Cubs and the Junior Braves. It's going to be the Braves up to bat, and they have a 1-0 lead over the Cubs. Back on the mound, Henry Van O's. The first pitch is high for ball one. And hitting for the Braves. It's going to be the 7, 8, and 9 hitters led off by Keen Robertson. He takes that pitch on the backside, and he's going to trot down over to first on the hit by pitch. We did see Vano struggle with his command a little bit back in the bottom of the first inning. Had two walks given to Adams and Lewis. Now the Braves starting off with a runner at first. They led off the bottom of the first with an inside the park home run by their leadoff hitter, Alex Granger. Lee Pierce steps in the second baseman and he takes the first pitch in there for strike one. Van O's pitcher to work quickly out here for the Cubs as steps off the mound to look over first base and Robertson slides back in without a throw. The leg lift and the pitch from Van O's. Now one runs way high and outside. It's going to get past Guyton there, the catcher. And Robertson going to go over to second on the wild pitch. Count goes to one and one. That one inside to Pierce. It's a ball two. Pierce with the small frame here with the Braves. See if it's affecting the strike zone from the home plate umpire. And the pitch from Van O's is in there, but it's high for ball three. Three one now the count. You see Pierce when the ball's coming too. Kind of squats down a little bit. I'm used to seeing Jose Altuve, the Astros, do that. It's the pitch coming in, kind of squat down if he's not going to see it, try and shrink that strike zone. But that one, not going to fool. Home plate umpire is in there for strike two. Count goes full, 3-2 count. Runner on second is Robertson. The pitch to Pierce, and he fouls it back to stay alive. Got to see these Braves on Monday. They lost to the White Sox 9-6. to six. It was a high-scoring game. Came down to the top of the seventh inning, tied 6-6, six to six, and the White Sox scored three in that top, in that seventh inning, and then shut out the Braves in the bottom to end that one 9-6. to six. The pitch runs outside. Pierce going to get on first base. Back-to-back -back walks. First being a hit-by-pitch, that one being a four ball walk to Lee Pierce and the Braves start with runners on first and second with no outs. It's their nine hole hitter catcher Cooper Hutchinson in. The switch hitter looks into Lewis and gets set. Leg lift in the pitch and Van O's pitch runs outside for ball one. The show for Bunt and then back away for ball two from Hutchinson. Hutchinson went one for three on that game on Monday with a single in the fourth against the White Sox. And that one inside for ball three. The count goes to three and oh. Van O's could walk all of them and that one is in there for strike one. Could be three straight walks from the right-hander. And this one's hit right back to him. He looks over to second base. Second base throws over to first. But it was Ferber had to come off the bag. And it's going to be a fielder's choice. Hutchinson gets it first. And Pierce out at second on the fielder's choice. So Hutchinson at first. Robertson is going to go to third on the ground out. 
Now back to the top of the order and Alex Granger. First pitch is high, gets by the catcher Guyton and coming around to score is Robertson from third. And Hutchinson gonna get over to second base as well on that wild pitch. And the score now Braves leading two to nothing over the Cubs here in the bottom of the second. Granger one for one with an inside the park home run. Back in the first inning, we'll see what he can do with the runner on second and Hutchinson. The pitch from Van O's runs high again for ball two. Van O's close to walking. Hutchinson came back and got a ground out up the middle to him and was able to record the first out of the inning. That one inside, but is gonna cross over the plate for strike one. Count. Now at two and one. That pitch running inside again to Granger. And the count now runs to three and one. Runner at second base is Hutchinson. Banos looks in, the leg lift and the pitch, and popped up behind the backstop. The catcher almost getting to it, Guyton, but runs into the backstop and ball bounces off his glove. So Granger getting another opportunity here with a full count and one out. Granger on that game on Monday went two for four with a double and an RBI single. Back in the first and second inning, scored two of those six runs for the Braves. And that one runs high to Granger. It's going to be a walk. And that's going to set up bases loaded, or excuse me, runners on first and second now. Robertson got home on that pass ball. So it is going to be first and second, one out for the two-hole hitter, Bennett Adams. See what we can do here. He was the starting pitcher for the Braves on Monday. Threw a great game, but just couldn't finish it out for the Braves. As he actually came back into the game in the sixth inning, or in that in that top of the seventh inning, to try and get it done for the Braves, but had to be called out after walking two in a row. That one's popped up over the right side for strike one. Adams in that game at the plate on Monday went one for two, an RBI single in the first, and then a single run score in the second. This one's ripped into left center field. The center fielder going back on it, Camarda, and he's gonna get under that ball and record the second out of the inning without any damage done or any runners advancing. Two outs now for the Cubs. Now come up the three-hole hitter, center fielder for the Braves, Henry Groves. Groves one for three in that game on Monday with a single in the second, RBI single in the second inning and a walk in the fifth. He takes the first pitch high and outside for ball one. Leg lift from Van O's in the pitch. This one's hit into right field and it's just gonna drop foul right in front of us. Ball's coming right to us. It's gonna be Ramirez getting that one. And this one runs inside to Groves for ball two, two one, now the count. Benos looks back in the pitch. Swung on foul to the left side. Count goes to two and two with two outs. Deuce is wild. See if the Braves can tack on any runs here with runners on first and second. Two outs, we're able to get one so far in this inning. And it's gonna be a pickoff attempt over the first baseman, Ferber. And 
and Granger gets back in standing. That one runs high to Groves for ball three. Count goes full at three and two. And the pitch, and that's strike three. Van O's goes down there, and that'll do it for the top, for the bottom of the second. The Braves leading two to nothing as we go to the top of the third. You're listening to Post Oak Little League playoffs here on Vibe Live. Top of the third inning between the Junior Cubs and Junior Braves. Currently the Braves leading over the Cubs two to nothing. Top of the third, it's gonna be the Cubs at the plate leading off one, two, and three. Leading off is gonna be the shortstop, Wyatt Baskin. I wanna apologize real quick on a couple of pronunciations I've been getting wrong. Alex Grange for the Braves, the third baseman who had that inside the park home run, Al Alex Grange, as well as Henry Van Oz. Henry Van Oz for the Cubs. So apologies for that, those pronunciations on there. It's gonna be Webb Lewis on the mound again here for the Braves. The first pitch to Baskin outside for ball one and the second pitch Low and outside for ball two, 2-0 two -oh. goes the count. Baskin with a ground out in the first inning to lead off this game. Now has, having his team in the Cubs trailing two to nothing. This one's popped up shallow uh, right field. It's the second baseman, Lee Pierce. A little bit outside in that outfield territory and he's gonna record the first out of the inning for the Braves. Both these teams met up in the regular season back on February 7th, right here on the juniors field at Post Oak Little League. The Braves actually took a one run loss. The Cubs won nine to eight back in that game on February 7th, as they now see each other here in the semifinal playoffs. This Post Oak Little League junior division and the first pitch is fouled back to the backstop for strike one. It's Parker Chile's up for the Cubs. Grounded out to the first baseman, Zinn, back in the first inning. The leg lift and the pitch from Lewis. The off-speed pitch just didn't quite break enough for him, and it runs high for ball one. 1-1 one, one goes the count.
And that pitch runs in there for a strike. One, two goes the count to Parker Chiles. Leg lift in the pitch from Lewis. The off speed doesn't break again, goes high. 2-2 two, two goes the count. Chile's on the season with a 242 batting average, 419 on base percentage. It's got eight hits, eight RBIs on the year. 11 runs scored, nine walks to three strikeouts. And that pitch runs high. For Lewis, count goes full three and two here to Parker Chile's. Three two count, one out. Braves leading the Cubs two to nothing. The pitch from Lewis swung on. It's grounded to the first baseman, but unfortunately, the pitcher didn't get there. And actually got run out by the first baseman who got there. Lewis was not on the way to first base, and the first baseman, Oliver Zinn, actually bailed him out there, running all the way over after getting that ground out and step on the bag right before Parker Chile's got that to record the second out of the inning. Have a quick pitcher's mound here by the Braves. And I'm trying to see if we're going to have a pitching change here or not. Chile's grounding out to first base back-to-back -back times. And just a quick mound visit as Lewis is going to get settled back on the mound here. The infield going to set back up and let the outfielders know where they are in the game. Two outs, top of the third inning. Braves leading the Cubs 2 to nothing. To Miles Camarda up to play. He swings at the first pitch over into the right field. It's Robertson getting under it and recording the third out of the inning. Three straight outs. One, two, three inning for Webb Lewis and the Braves. We go to the bottom of the third. Braves two, Cubs zero. Bottom of the third inning, Braves leading the Cubs two to nothing. Henry Van Oz back on the mound for the Cubs in his third inning of work. Again, apologies for the pronunciation in the first two innings, but Van Oz back on the mound for the Cubs, as well as for the Braves, Alex Grange. Apologies on that pronunciation in the first couple innings as well. As 
Van Oz getting set to go here in the bottom of the third inning. Braves leading two to nothing after a leadoff inside the park home run, top of the first inning by Alex Grange, scored one, and then leading off the second inning, back to back walks, a hit by pitch and a walk by Van Oz, and eventually getting a run scored there off the fielder's choice. And Robertson scoring that second run for the Braves brings us to a 2 0 lead for the Junior Braves. As the umpires disperse here after talking about the game so far, and we're set and ready to go again. It's going to be four, five, and six hitters. For the Braves, starting out the pitcher, left-hander Webb Lewis steps in the batter's box. The first pitch he looks at runs high and outside for ball one, and the ball back from Guyton to Van Oz goes all the way into shallow right center field. Second baseman Chile is getting over there to get that for the pitcher. Webb Lewis with a walk back in the first inning one of the two runners left stranded there back in that bottom of the first. Van Oz, the delivery and the pitch runs in there for strike one, 1-1 one, one, the count. Lewis back on Monday against the White Sox went 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. That pitch runs outside for ball 2-2-1 two, two, now the count. Van Oz working quickly as he has so far in his previous two innings, and that pitch goes high again. 3-1 hitters count now for Webb Lewis, the cleanup hitter for the Braves. Van Oz the delivery, and it runs outside. Lewis throws the bat and trots over to first base on that walk issued by Van Oz. It's actually his fifth walk of the game already. He also has a hit hit batter back in the second inning. So really six free runners he's given these Braves so far as the first pitch swing and a miss by the five-hole hitter Sam Bray. The count goes to 0-1. Lewis taking a good lead over there off first base. The sidestep pitch from Van Oz and it runs outside for ball one. Both these teams seeing who's gonna be in that championship game on Saturday. Lewis takes off. It is gonna be a foul ball by Bray and Lewis gonna have to trot back on over to first base. After Bray fouled it back, count goes to one and two. Bray did not actually hit for the Braves on Monday. And swing and a miss, tried to chase that one high out of the zone. And that's strike number three, first out of the inning and second strikeout of the game for Van Oz. Got to be happy after a, after a leadoff walk and then coming back and striking out the next batter. Now stepping up to the plate, first baseman Oliver Zinn. It's gonna be a pickoff attempt from Van Oz and Lewis sliding back into first base safely. Zinn on Monday went 0 for 3 with a couple strikeouts to the White Sox. Another pickoff attempt and Lewis sliding back into first safely. Beautiful, hot, sunny day out here in Houston, Texas, Post Oak Little League. And Lewis taking off again. This one's popped up, though. Shallow outfield, the left fielder, Book Meyer, going to it, but not going to be able to make it over there in time. And they're going to reset.
Got some kids out on the top of the shed out there and outside of left field right there past the fence and that's going to get by him. Not a wild pitch but a pass ball from the catcher Guyton and Lewis going to trot into second base safely. He's been trying to get there on almost every throw but his teammates keep fouling the ball off. Now he gets into second base standing up. Now the count, 1-1 one, one with one out. Leg lift in the pitch, and this one's lined into left center field. That's going to score Lewis from second, and Oliver Zinn with an RBI single for the Braves. Gets them their third run scored and keeps up with their trend of at least scoring one run in every inning. Cubs giving up three runs now is Zinn going to get a courtesy runner here it's going to be the second baseman Lee Pierce looks like running for Oliver Zinn as Van Oz takes a second here after that line drive single Really nice hit there by Oliver Zinn. One out, runner on first. Braves leading the Cubs three to nothing. Swing and a miss by Keen Robertson. The right fielder swings at his first pitch for strike one. Robertson 0 for 2 against the White Sox on Monday. Had a walk in the second inning. And then had back-to-back -back strikeouts in the fourth and fifth. Swung on and missed that second pitch. The count goes now to 0-2. And, Robertson hit by pitch back in the second inning. Was able to score that second run for the Braves. Now he fouls this one back off the catcher's helmet. Guyton. Count remains 0-2. What a pitch there from Van Oz to get Keen Robertson down looking there. That off speed cut in like it was going to go right over the head of Robertson and then just fell right into that sweet spot. And Robertson was just frozen on that pitch. Third strikeout of the game for the righty Van Oz. And this one, first pitch popped into shallow right field. Coming around to get it is Ramirez, but not in time. And it's going to be a hit. We got a pitch hitter here for Lee Pierce coming on to hit. Runners on the corners. And that's number, that was number three, John Massey, pitch hitting there for Pierce. Got that single in the right field. This one's popped up over by the first baseman, Ferber. And he's going to glove it and record the third out of the inning. So one run scored in each inning for the Braves. Cubs still scoreless. We go to the fourth. Braves leading the Cubs three to nothing. You're listening to the Post Oak Little League junior playoffs here on Vibe Live.
Top of the fourth inning between the Junior Braves and the Junior Cubs in this semifinal Post Oak Little League Junior Playoff Series. The Braves have a 3-0 lead over the Cubs here in the top of the fourth inning. It's going to be the Cubs up to bat. They're going to be led off by their cleanup hitter, catcher Matthew Guyton. Four, five, and six hitters up for the Cubs. And the first pitch by Webb Lewis is in there for ball one. One, two, three inning for the Braves. And the third inning. And Lewis has yet to give up a hit since that first inning. Only one hit given up through three full innings from the Braves left-hander. 2-0 now the count to Guyton. He walked back in the first inning. We'll see if Lewis likes to do the same thing here as that one runs outside. 3-0 now the count. Guyton, I'm sure, is going to be taken all the way here. And he does. That one runs outside. Four-pitch walk to lead off the fourth inning for the Cubs. Guyton on the year with nine walks actually leads the junior Cubs team and walks there. One of the more patient hitters as we have a quick mound visit. And we are going to have a pitching change here. Is Webb Lewis going to get the first base mitt and trot all over on over to first base as he was on Monday? We're going to have a new pitcher here for the Braves. It's going to be number three, John Massey. We'll tell you more about him. When he gets done warming up, we'll take a quick break. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Braves leading the Cubs three to nothing. Top of the fourth inning, no outs. Cubs are up to bat, and the Braves have a new pitcher on the mound. It's the right-hander, number three, John Massey, coming on for the Braves. Webb Lewis, the lefty starter, started this inning off with a walk, and they pulled the leash on him. Guyton is off, and he's into second base safely, not even a throw attempted there. Guyton was the walk of the inning from Lewis now on second base as Lewis went a full three innings gave up one hit no runs had three walks and three strikeouts to end his outing and that pitch runs outside for Massey ball one 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 goes the count up to bat now is the right-handed pitcher for the Cubs Henry Van O's he struck out to end the first that one runs high for Massey, and it is going to be another steal for Guyton, taken off from second, and he slides into third base safely. So a couple steals there for the catcher, and it's a foul back. Count goes to two and two to Van Oz. Henry Van Oz, right-hander trying to help his case on the mound. 
And he looks at that one in the dirt. Guyton's taking off from the check swing, and he's going to go in safely. Standing up, Cubs now finally here in the top of the fourth inning have scored their first run of the game off that wild pitch from John Massey. So no runners on the bases, no outs. Count is full to the five-hole hitter, Henry Van Oz. Massey looks in. The pitch runs high and inside to Van Oz. He's going to trot on down to first base. Back-to-back -back walks for the Braves to start this fourth inning. Now runner on first and Van Oz stepping up to the plate. First baseman Eli Ferber. Van Oz takes off and Ferber is going to rip one over down the third baseline. Granger grounds it but not going to have a throw in time. And Ferber is going to get on with an infield single. Henry Van Oz now at second. After he took off, a little hit and run action there for the Cubs. They now have runners on first and second, no outs. As they're not far away from tying or possibly taking the lead in this game in the top of the fourth inning. Massey looks in, swing and a miss. That's J.P. Whitley that was hacking at that for strike one. Whitley grounded out to the second baseman, Pierce, back in the second inning. This time he hits it over to the right side, over the left side. The third baseman, Granger, tries to get over there in time, but not going to get it as he gets into first base safely. Excuse me, that's Zinn over at first base. Not Granger, some substitutions being made here. And sliding in safely off that hit was Henry Van Oz. So another infield single. Has the bases loaded, no outs now for the Cubs. Quick little infield meeting between the teams. Braves trying to figure out what they're going to do here. Haven't had any pressure so far in this game. Until this inning, the Cubs have scored no runs, but now with back-to-back -back walks to start the inning and then a single by Ferber and a single by Whitley, we now have bases loaded, no outs for the Cubs. It's Ford Bennett, the 8 hole hitter, swing and a miss. Strike one for Bennett. Yeah, Grange went over to second, not Granger, excuse me. So Grange at second, Adams still at third. And the count is 0-2. Now here to Bennett. Bennett walked in that second inning, but now facing an 0-2 count from John Massey. The pitch runs inside for ball one, one, two, now the count. Massey, the leg lift and the pitch runs high inside to Bennett, two and two now the count. Massey, since he's come in this game, has given up a walk in back-to-back -back singles. The pitch swung on, hit to the left side, it's Goes right by Adam, the glove of Adams, and gets by Groves, the center fielder. Wow, Bennett's coming around. He's going to get all the way into third base, and he's going to stay in. Three runs scoring there from the Cubs as they had bases loaded. And Bennett's going to get on third base with a triple. Wow. So after trailing three to nothing through three, the Cubs in this top of the fourth inning have scored every batter that's come up, except Ford Bennett, who just scored three. 
So a three RBI, three runs scored from Ford Bennett there, and the Cubs now have a one-run lead, four to three. The pitch swung on and missed by Alexander Ramirez, strike one. Ramirez struck out looking back in the second inning. See what he can do here with no outs, runner on third. And the fourth swung on and missed, strike two to Ramirez. Massey trying to get out of this without giving up any more runs. And the off-speed pitch doesn't break in enough. Count goes to two and two. And that one just runs a bit outside for Massey. The count now goes to three and two for Ramirez. Full count, no outs still here for the Cubs. And that one runs over the head of Ramirez. He's going to run down over to first base, clapping as he runs by the dugout. And he's going to get there with no outs. He's going to take off. Wow. They didn't even they didn't even know that he took off. I wasn't even looking. I was looking down my score sheet. But that's going to be a steal and the Braves coach going to come out and talk about this with the pitcher and he's going to get John Massey out of the game. Massey comes in the game could not get an out and now coming in from center field is Henry Groves. We'll take a quick break here as Groves warms up. We're in the top of the fourth inning, still no outs. Cubs now leading the Braves four to three. Henry Groves now on the mound for the Braves. Top of the fourth inning, no outs. Runners on second and third. It was William Gibson that had that walk in the steal when John Massey was not looking. And the new pitcher now on the mound for the Braves is the left-hander Henry Groves. Came in from center field. Leg lift in the pitch runs inside to Wyatt Baskin for ball one. One, one goes the count. Baskin 0 for two with a ground out and a fly out so far in this game. Swung on and missed. Strike three, Baskin goes down on three pitches. And the Braves get their first out of the inning. Much needed as that was the seventh batter the Braves had faced this inning. Now stepping up is Parker Chile as he hits one over the left side. Third baseman's in, grounds it, tries to throw over to Lewis. Lewis can't scoop it, though. It's a bad throw, and that's going to get a run scored. Bennett going to score from third. And Gibson going to get to third. 
off that one. Parker Chiles getting on there on the air from the third baseman. Zinn on that arid throw. And now it's the third, three old hitter Miles Camarda hits one to the right side. It's first baseman Lewis who gets it, but no one there to cover. And Camarda taking off going to second base. And he's going to get in a pickle, but two runs scored for the Cubs. And he's going to get in there safely. Wow. The Braves got him in a pickle, but Camarda able to work his way back. And he slides into there safely. Excuse me, that was Chile's. Parker Chile's there. He's able to slide back in safely in the first. That's going to get another mound visit as the pitcher, Henry Groves, just not covering the bag there. And it's going to get the Bra it's going to cost the Braves another two runs. So Gibson coming around to score. And I thought Chile is coming around to score, but Chile is over at second base. So got things a little bit mixed up there. But now we have Parker Chile is over at first base. Now stepping up, Miles Camarda. Now Camarda steps in, runner at first is Chile's, and back-to-back -back ball pitches in the dirt, and Chile going to take off and go to second. So a couple errors have hurt the Braves here. It's now runner at second base, no one out. This one's ripped into right center field. Center fielder gets to it, tries to throw back into Ben Adams to get him at second base, but he's in there safely. It's number 19, Alex Grange, and to catch that ball. Two outs now for the Cubs. And the Cubs have bat around. Matthew Guyton, the catcher who led off this inning with a walk, back-to-back -back steals and a wild pitch scored him for the first run scored of this game. Swing and a miss, strike two, but the ball gets by Hutchinson and Chile's into third base off the wild pitch or off the off the pass ball. It's just a mistake by Hutchinson not looking up to see that there was a runner there. This one swung on and drilled into center field. Grange back, back, and it goes over his head. That's going to score Parker Chile's coming around. Is Matthew Guyton. He's going to try and get in the third, and he's safe. Matthew Guyton with a triple after he let off the inning with a walk. Has an RBI triple to score Chile's, the eighth run scored of this inning and what a turn of events as the Braves coming into the top of the fourth inning had a three nothing lead but here with only one out the score is eight to three now stepping up is Henry Van Oz he takes the first pitch in for strike one This one's swung on right in front of the catcher, Hutchinson, but it does go foul down that third baseline. 0-2 the count. Now for Henry Groves. Just try to come in, sitting and do anything he can to get out of it. This one swung on, hit right back to the first baseman, Zinn, or Lewis. Lewis running over there, tagging the base for the second out of the inning. But that is going to score Matthew Guyton coming around to score the ninth run of the game and ninth run of the inning for the Cubs now. Three to nine is the score. So it's a ground out for Henry Van Oz, but he was able to score in Guyton from third. Now coming up to bat 
It's the first baseman, Eli Ferber. He had a single to lead off the inning. Only the second hit at the time, second hit of the game at the time for the Cubs. Since then, they've had three more. So five hits total for the Cubs. Swung on a miss, strike one for Eli Ferber. It's been a long inning for these Braves position players here as they've been out here through three different pitchers now as that one runs outside for ball two two one now the count two outs no runners on for the Cubs Ferber the right hander standing in and he looks and sees that pitch go outside for ball three count now goes to three and one This one goes into Ferber and it's low. So four balls and it's another walk issued by the Braves. Third walk of the inning by the Braves. The first walk issued by Henry Groves. Now stepping up to the plate. JP Whitley has a ground out and a single singled in this fourth inning, came around to score. The fourth run of the game, or fourth run, scored for the Cubs this inning. Looks at the first pitch in for strike one. This one he fouls back to the backstop for strike two. Nine runs off four hits for the Cubs, who now have a six-run lead. Swung on and miss, and the Braves finally walk off this inning as Hutchinson kind of slams, uh, sums it up there if you're a Braves fan as he slams the ball down, walking back to the dugout as it goes to the pitcher's mound. That'll do it for this top of the fourth inning. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth where the Braves now have six runs they have to catch up from as they trail nine to three. Bottom of the fourth inning, Cubs now leading the Braves 9-3 after 13 batters go by for the Cubs. And that top of the fourth inning, they scored nine runs on four hits, one error by the Braves, zero left on, two strikeouts from the Braves, but four walks. 
led them to giving up nine runs there as they now trail nine to three. First batter up for the Braves, it's the leadoff hitter, Alex Grange. He fouls off the first pitch to the backstop for strike one. On the mound for his first inning of work. It's number 44, Eli Ferber. It was Henry Groves on the mound for the first three innings for the Cubs. Now elect to go to the first baseman, Ferber. And that pitch runs high for ball two, two, two. Now the count. Guyton has now moved over to first base. Try and see if I can get the rest of the Cubs rotation, see where they went. So now it's number three, Wyatt Baskin. Behind the plate for the Cubs, swing and a miss. Strike three, Alex Grange goes down swinging for the first out of the inning and first strike out of the game for Eli Ferber. Now coming up to the plate, the shortstop number nine, Bennett Adams. He's 0 for 1 on the day with a walk. And he swings to the first pitch and it's fouled down the third base side. Braves have scored run one, one run in every game, or in every inning so far this game. One run in the first, one run in the second, one run in the third. But that has not been enough to keep up with the nine run inning scored there by the Cubs. Nine runs off four hits. What a day for them after not, get, not getting any runs in the first three innings. That pitch runs high and outside for Ferber. Count now at one and one. That pitch in there for strike two. One, two, the count. Bennett Adams, and he takes that pitch down and inside for ball two. Two to the count. And no check swing from Adams there. Is almost went for it, but saw that the pitch coming in high and elected to hold up 3-2. Now the count for Eli Ferber, one out for the Braves. The delivery and the pitch runs high and inside, ball four. Bennett Adams, second walk of the game for him and first walk of the game issued for Eli Ferber. Now stepping up to the plate, the center fielder, Henry Groves. Groves, first pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Henry Van Oz for the Cubs finished his outing, three innings pitched, gave up three hits, three runs, five walks, and six strikeouts on the day. And he's taken off. It's Adams trying to get in a second. He gets in there safely. Bad throw from Baskin behind the plate. And Adams sliding into third safely now. So Adams able to get all the way to third base on the steal from second. Baskin with the arid throw. And Camarda gets it, throws it in. Swing and a miss by Groves for strike three. It's his second strike out of the game and second strike out of the inning for the Cubs and Eli Ferber. Now stepping up to the plate, 
Number five, the first baseman now, starting pitcher, Webb Lewis. Webb Lewis is Ofer on the day with two walks. Had a walk in the first and a walk in the third that ended up being the third run scored for the Braves. Looks at the first pitch outside for ball one. And that pitch from Ferber in there for ball two, 2-0 two goes the count. So Lewis and the Braves trying to catch up to the six run inning that the Cubs had in that top of the fourth. That pitch runs high and inside to Lewis for ball three. Count goes now to 3-0. and Rio pitch is low. Home plate umpire elects Webb Lewis to go on down to first base for his third straight walk of the game. So Groves, or excuse me, Lewis, very patient hitter at the plate, has got on for the Braves in all three of his plate appearances. What? Now with runners on the corners and two outs, oh, yeah, it's Sam Bray, the right-hander stepping up. See if he can score some runs here for the Braves. If not, it would stop their streak of scoring at least one run an inning. And stepping off the mound is Eli Ferber. A little pickoff move, but no throw from the right-hander. And that's fouled back to the backstop from Sam Bray. 0-1 goes the count. Sam Bray 0 for 2 on the day. Flew out to the pitcher in the first inning and struck out on the third. Leg lift in the pitch, and he fouls this one over the right side for strike two, 0-2, oh, two, now the count. Bray with a big opportunity here for the Braves and his team with runners on the corners, two outs. Gonna have to try and catch up to this nine run inning the Cubs had in the fourth. And taking off there is Lewis. This one chopper over the pitcher, Ferber. He flips over first baseman, Guyton, and that'll end the inning. Runners stranded for the Braves, their first inning. They haven't scored a run, and we go to the fifth inning. Cubs leading the Braves 9-3. to three. You're watching Post Oak Little League playoffs here on Vibe Live.
Top of the fifth inning, Cubs leading the Braves nine to three. It's the Cubs at the plate. It's gonna be their eight, nine, and one hitters. Leading off, Ford Bennett. He takes that pitch in the dirt for ball one, one, one goes the count. Bennett had that huge three RBI, three run, three run scoring triple back in that fourth inning. Takes that pitch in for strike two. Cubs were able to score nine runs off four hits in that fourth inning. The Braves trying to catch up, and Bennett goes down looking. Strike three from Henry Groves. His first strikeout of the inning. And now that brings up William Gibson. Gibson looks at the first pitch in for ball one. 13 batters. Cubs had hitting there in that top of the fourth inning. We'll see if they can replicate it here in the fifth as Groves throws two straight balls to Gibson. Gibson looking at that one in there for strike one. Gibson had a walk and a run scored in that fourth inning. That pitch runs high for ball two. Ball three, three one. It's the count now to Gibson. Three one with one out. Pitch from Groves runs high. Ball four. Gibson's throwing his bat and run over to first. First walk of the inning issued for Henry Groves. This one's popped up into shallow. In the right field, and it's Lewis getting under in foul territory, the first baseman, according to the second out of the inning. It was Wyatt Baskin. They're fouling that one off. Now coming up to bat. Second baseman, Parker Chiles. Two outs, runner on first. This one's fouled over the left side. In foul territory, 101. Chiles, 0 for 3 on the day. Grounded out to first base in the first and third innings. Then was able to get on off the bad throw from the pitcher at the time, Webb Lewis. One, one, now the count to Chile's. Groves, the lefty looks in, and the pitch, this one's hit to the right side. Lee Pierce scoops it up, flips it over to Bennett Adams for the third out of the inning. Four, six, ground out. And that'll be it for the top of the fifth inning. No run scored for the Cubs off no hits. One strikeout and one walk. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. The Cubs still leading the Braves 9-3.
Bottom of the fifth inning between the Braves and the Cubs. Cubs leading the Braves nine to three right now. And it's gonna be the Braves up to bat, leading off their six hole hitter. First baseman, Oliver Zinn. It's gonna be their six, seven, and eight hitters on for the Braves. First pitch is popped up over um, third base side. Camarda not able to get to it. It's gonna be one strike. Zinn with an RBI single back in the third inning. That was the last run scored for the Braves as they're trying to work their way back. A died run fourth inning from the Cubs. That pitch in there for strike two. Zinn now behind the no two count. Eli Ferber back on the mound for his second inning of work. And this one's hit right back up the middle off the glove of Ferber. And it's going to be an infield single for Oliver Zinn. Zinn just hit a chopper right over the head of Ferber. Ferber, one of the taller guys between both clubs, able to get a glove on it, but not able to catch it. And it's going to be an infield single to start off the inning for the Braves. Now coming up to the plate. Keen Robertson. Let's see what Robertson can do here. His first pitch is into him. He fouls it back to the backstop for strike one. Robertson was hit by a pitch back in the second inning and came around to score the second run of the game for the Braves. Went down looking in the third. Swung, swing and a miss, strike two to Keen Robertson. It's Eli Ferber starting to settle in nicely here for the Cubs. This one's hit to the left side. Shortstop Van Oz has got it. Throws over second baseman, then over to first. And the air throw is going to get Robertson on there. Off the fielder's choice. Six four fielder's choice is gonna get Oliver Zinn out at second. But Keen Robertson over at first is safe from the high throw from the second baseman, Chiles. Now stepping up to the plate. It's the second baseman, number two, Lee Pierce. Pierce with a walk. And a single in the ball game. Walked in the second, singled in the third. Swing and a miss, strike two for Eli Ferber. He's been right on the zone so far since he's come into this game. That one runs high to Pierce for ball one. One, two goes the count. Pierce, a switch hitter for the Braves. And the off-speed pitch just didn't break enough into the zone for the home plate umpire to call that one a strike. The count goes to two and two. Both these teams met back up on February 7th where the Cubs ended up beating the Braves nine to eight. They have scored nine runs in this game too. We'll see if the Braves can catch up and swing and a miss from Lee Pierce. Slams his bat down in frustration. It's the second out of the inning for the Cubs. The nine hole hitter coming up now. The catcher, Cooper Hutchinson. 
And looks like we will have a pitching change on for the Cubs. As yeah, Eli Ferber gets a handshake from one of the coaches as he comes off. Stepping on the mound now. I have to look and see. This is, and it's going to be number 20, Hayes Camarda. Camarda going to be on the bump here for the Cubs. In the bottom of the fifth inning, two outs. We'll take a quick break while Camarda warms up. We'll be right back. Bottom of the fifth inning, two outs. Cubs leading the Braves 9-3. to three. Hayes Camarda on the mound now for the Cubs as they have a 9-3 lead over the Braves. Bottom of the fifth inning, one out, and that ball gets by the catcher Baskin. And it's going to be Robertson going to second base safely. Bottom of the fifth inning, two outs. The nine-hole hitter on for the Braves, Cooper Hutchinson. He takes that pitch in high for ball two. Hutchinson grounded out and flew out 0 for 2 so far in this game. Pitch that one's in there for ball, or for strike one. 2-1 two, one goes the count as Ferber is now back on first base. If I can get the other changes, too. So that one runs outside for ball three. Three run, three one the count. Two outs, runner on second for the Braves is Robertson. And that pitch runs high. Hutchinson gonna get on with a leadoff walk. His first time he's been on the bases. And his first pitch her first walk for Hayes Camarda. A pitch in there for strike one to Alex Grange. Grange, one for three on the game. Swing and a miss from that one, and that's strike two. Grange got things started for the Braves back in the first with an inside the park home run to take the one nothing lead. Had a walk in the second and a strikeout in the fourth. Runners on first and second, two outs, 0-2 count is in the dirt. Taken off is Robertson, and he's gonna be safe as Guyton couldn't hold on to the ball there. Robertson's you're getting the third safely with the steal. Runners on the corners now, one, two count, two outs. We'll see if Cooper Hutchinson follows him and ends up stealing as well. And he does as the off-speed pitch runs in there, a couple of hops from Haynes Camarda, he really wanted that one to be strike three, but home plate umpire elected that the ball went high, 2-2 two, two, now the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Grandes goes down, and they're celebrating like that's the ball game, and I guess it is. 
We end it here in the top of the fifth in or bottom of the fifth inning. Nine to three. The Cubs have won. Not sure why the um, ruling to end the game. I thought they go to seven, but maybe not. And the Cubs are gonna come gonna come away with a nine to three lead. No, no, no mercy rule. My producer Alex Barbosa asking me if, it's, if there was a mercy rule, but it was nine to three. Usually, mercy rule is ten runs or more. So, not exactly sure. Could have been a could have been a mercy rule of some sort. Real quick, let me ask the home plate umpire. He's coming by right here. I'll be right back with you. All right, so just got confirmation from the umpire there. It was a time uh, constraint. They only have a, a yep, got gotcha. you. Saturday will go seven as you walking by me. It, it is a time constraint. They can only play out here for an hour and 40 minutes is what they have it. And after that last batter, that hour 40 went by. That will be the final for the game as the Junior Cubs are going to come away with the win and they're going to be facing off against the junior white Sox on saturday night we'll be covering it here on vipe live as the braves get going leading the game three to nothing going into the fourth inning but that top of the fourth inning the cubs come away with nine runs after going through 13 batters and they're going to come away with the win here on the time on the time restraint Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to tune back in on Saturday. That'll be it for the Braves, but the Cubs move on. They'll go up against the White Sox on Saturday in the Junior Pacific, uh, Post Oak Little League Championship game. The final score for the day, Junior Cubs 9, Atlanta Braves 3.